at it. And they're just about ready to go. Race number six. Quaddy's second leg. Tilly Banner number three took out the first leg. Lee Rogers looking for a double with a loud to dream. Light lure. The set. And racing, beginning nicely. It was Ebony Dancer. Surprise me, he goes with it early. Where's Garth Attack? He's out the back early after stumbling. And after the leader's Real Steel. And then they get all sorts of trouble. Uh, Real Steel and Nomadi got knocked out of it. Real Steel, Pumpkin Eater, Real Steel, Ebony Dancer. And Garth Attack getting through on the inside late. Pumpkin Eater in front. Pumpkin Eater! Big Garth Attack followed by Real Steel in a messy race. Followed by Surprise Me in a photo for fourth placing. Perhaps it just in front of stretch around an Ebony Dancer. And then came a host of others. Uh, including allowed to dream a good knock rotten early in a rough house assignment 18 and 6 the time look at the price pumpkin eater at 50s on the tab tote number four that was really messy in the run number four has got the uh, win at pumpkin eater she's been a handy bitch in her life uh, she hasn't won for a little while now in fact you know, since january but uh, her turn today pumpkin eater for her seventh win four one seven five one and a half by one eighteen sixty five splits two oh nine seven sixty one eleven oh four and gouth attack really messed up the start there missing it a long way and he got through with all that trouble but couldn't pick up pumpkin eater four one seven and five Pumpkin Eater by Dinah Double One out of Peter Pit Stop at start 54. Win number seven is owned and trained by Cannonball winning trainer Adam Wade. Number one in the second spot, Garth Attack for Keith Pedrada. Most unlucky after missing the kick. Zipping Garth, Hard Attack. And third goes to Greyhound 7, Real Steel. Gary Fraser, Good Odds Harada. She's a felon. 4175 on race six. Well, there's a boil over. $57. Thank you very much. Pumpkin Eater, the Garth attacks, missed the start, horrible as there on the inside, he usually very clean away. He was heavily tried for 175 at a $1.35 in the end. And uh, he is dead set, bomb the start. He slipped uh, after leaving the launching pad. He was up there handy, but then his front legs went out from the back of him. And he lost a lot of ground. Uh, the six and the two got tangled up and uh, all sorts of... Uh, problems there early on in the race as well so figure, figure runs there 4175 and the payout to come Awaiting the all clear to come through on race number six. Gets going for the third race, they're just about set. Okay, we're all one about to fill its spot with Corinna Rocco. 